Hi friends, it's me, Miss Erin from C.C. Meller Memorial Library, here with today's Picture Book Children's Choice Awards read. But you know what happens before we get started. It's time for jokes! All right, let's read a joke. Why are leopards so bad at hide and seek? Why are leopards so bad at hide and seek? Because they always get spotted. <laughs> That's a fun one. All right, you ready for today's book? Today's book is called, If Your Monster Won't Go to Bed. And it's by Denise Vega and illustrated by Zachariah Ahura. Oh, look at that monster. Do you wanna see the whole monster? There he is on the back. If your monster won't go to bed. Let's find out what happens. Time for bed! Ugh. Who hates those words more than anything? That's right, your monster. But we all know what happens when a monster doesn't get enough sleep. Massive monster tantrums, refusing to join the sneak up and scare your sister game, and falling asleep in his slug mush. Let's review a bedtime routine guaranteed to help any monster drift off into peaceful nightmare land, rested and ready to play toss the slime ball with the rest of the kids and monsters. You ready? Don't ask your parents to help you. They know a lot about putting kids to bed, but nothing about putting monsters to bed. It's not their fault. They're just not good at it. Don't bring in your dog to cuddle. She'll bark and whine and chase your monster's tail. And your monster will growl and snarl and chase your dog's tail, which will lead to a monster meltdown. And who wants that besides other monsters? Not me. And look how small that dog is. Don't do the monster stomp. Your monster will wiggle his waggle, flick his fur, and clench his claws. And the next thing you know, he'll be shaking his bristly bottom and won't want to stop. And you will be shaking your unbristly bottom, so it will be a big bottom shaking, waggle wiggling, fur flicking, claw clenching monster kid stomp, which will last all night. Save the monster stomp for daytime fun. Don't have your monster count sheep. Do you see the sheep? You know what will happen. And sheep aren't good for a monster's digestion. All that wool makes him gassy. This is bad. Yeah. Don't give your monster a glass of milk. Monsters hate milk, unless it's sour and green and smells like dirty underwear. And if you give them sour, green, dirty underwear smelling milk, do you see what he's gonna do? They'll stay up all night burping, sour, green, dirty underwear smelling burps. And who wants that? Besides other you-know-whats. Burp. I know that's a lot of don'ts. So if your monster won't go to bed, what do you do? Oh, she looks like she's ready for her monster to go to bed. All right, should we find out some rules? Step one, pour your monster a nice big glass of calming, crunchy, oozy bug juice slimed with ooey gooey snail trails. No monster can resist this. Maybe you can't either. Go ahead, take a sip. Would you try that? It's got bugs and green. Step two, 
give your monster an ice cold, shiver inducing bath to relax him. And make sure to scrub behind his ears with mud soap. Would you want to take an ice bath? I don't know that I'd want a bath full of ice. Step three. Brush your monster's fangs until they are at their smelly, rotten best. And don't forget to floss. Step four. Help your monster find his favorite squishy, squashy, can't go to bed without it toy. Put all the other monster toys in your parents' bed. They will appreciate your thoughtfulness. What do you think? Would your parents like to find that in their bed? I don't think my parents would like that. Step five. Read the freakiest, creepiest, scariest book from your bookshelf. Screaming where appropriate. And watch your monster's eyelids droop. <sighs> if your monster asks for one more story, shout, no way! And get ready for step six. In the key of screech, sing shaka bye and listen to those gigantic monster snores, along with the snores of your family and maybe even the whole block. Do you think you could fall asleep if she was singing like that to you? I don't know if I could. <gasps> but congratulations, you've done it. Your monster has officially gone to bed. You are the master of monsters, the captain of creatures, the baron or baroness of boogeymen. You're so good, everyone in your neighborhood will start asking you for help with their monsters. Uh-oh, here they come with their monsters. Looks like that dragon won't put on her pajamas. And that werewolf won't stop howling. Ow! And that zombie is annoying the whole family. I know a lot about monsters, but nothing about dragons or werewolves or zombies. I'm out of here. Huh? And that's the end. She's all done. I like that one. If your monster won't go to bed. You always go to bed on time though, right? Of course. You never stay up late. All right, let's share one more joke together before we go. You ready? Okay. What does a cat do when he wants popcorn in the middle of the movie? What does a cat do when he wants popcorn in the middle of the movie? He presses the pause button. You get it? Like pausing the TV, but he's got paws because he's a cat. That's pretty silly. Thanks for coming to Storytime with me today and reading one of the Picture Book Children's Choice Awards books from previous years. I hope you had a good time and I will see you back here next Friday for another book. Have a good week. Bye.